Hey guys, welcome back. This is another one of those workshop projects we're gonna do today. The Koi Niburi, or if you guys don't know what they look like, here's what they come in. Well, they used to be ordered off Amazon. And they look like this. Well, they don't look like this, but the purpose of this is Koi Niburi. Yeah. Koi Niburi, in Japan, carp streamers are traditionally flown on May 5th, Boys Day. Carp are hoisted onto poles that reach up into the blue sky for several weeks around May 5th. The flying carp symbolize courage and ambition, recognizing a tale of a carp that once swam all the way to heaven to become a dragon. Apparently that's what it is. The reason I have these, and this is what they will look like, let me just put them one down so I don't get them all dirty, is like this. Okay, so we're gonna have five of these guys. And, uh, good thing I thought ahead, but we'll, we'll get there. So here's what they look like. They're just these big streamers that have like little carps on them. The wind's gonna take them, make it look really sweet as you saw in the opening shot. So this video is all about how to make this thing, okay? So it's gonna be a super simple project. I think it's gonna be super simple and it actually won't cost a whole lot of dough. So let's get started. This project is very simple. All we need is the koi niburi, the swivels, which are these little swiving, swimming tackle things so let it spin around freely some staples, which we'll use to attach the coinaburi to the, the pole, and hey, the pole. Tools include tape, as drill bits, drill, and that's about it. Let's get started. The process we're gonna do now is we gotta figure out where on the property we wanna place the pole. So take your time to find out where you'd like it, and then when you do, mark some holes, at least two, so you can support the pole based on the winds and the other stuff that's in your location. I chose to use my drill press to drill out the holes that we marked on the pole. It's a lot cleaner and easier, and in the case of this one, there is a steel pipe in the inside, and it, it does make it cut a lot easier. So just drill your two holes, and we'll move on. This process is pretty simple. This is where we're going to take one of the coin niburi and another one just above it, and we're trying to gauge what the distance is between the two. So just pull the string out, make a mark for each. You'll find whatever it is, take out your measuring device. And in this case, it was somewhere around five, five and a half inches between each. So that's how long, it's how big we need for our spacing on the pole. The trick we're gonna use for this is taking the staples and putting them inside of the little swivel. So the staples were gonna be kind of our center point. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, no one's gonna be checking it for millimeters. Uh, then what we need to do is we're going to use a thing called a story stick. Story stick is what woodworkers use in order to make sure that there is a uniform distance between objects. In this case, the, the, the two little posts on the staple. So on this piece of oak, I've just marked where the centers were, took a staple, and hit it. Let's go to the drill press and drill that thing out. The next operation is now using the story stick in order to drill the holes uniformly. First, we secure the pole with a little bit of tape. That's so it doesn't move around on us. And then, boom, 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 we're going to put the uh, drill through the little hole that we made, and that way everything's nice and even. Uh, I did take another bit to rotate, so that way we get the same distance for each. Pretty simple. Mix up some two-part epoxy and then put it on the, in the holes first. Put your staple with the little swivel thing covered in a little bit of tape. And then take your hammer and just carefully hit it in. You don't want to like break the staple or put a dent in the thing. Just be gentle about it. It's a friction fit and the epoxy will help to hold it all in there so that way there's no way anything's going anywhere. You want to do this for each of the five holes shouldn't take you too long and the tape will make it so nothing sticks to each other and here's what it looks like when everything is done after the epoxy is dried take it off so that way you have your little swivels and hang your koi niburi before putting it up uh, the suggested order of colors is black then red then blue then whatever else but put black at the top and red in the bottom otherwise remember everything japanese is a thing so black on the top red at least and then blue for the boy all right then let's get this thing up now you can zip tie that thing to the post or the place where you thought it would be uh actually what i did was i zip tied it and then decided i did not like it 
to not have a physical like a like a mechanical tie-in so i drilled two holes and then put two two and a half inch screws in there too just to hold it everything nice and clean and with that that's how you build a coin i hope you enjoyed the video uh, like comment subscribe let me know you guys know what you thought if you thought it was interesting hit that like button and be a bro we'll see you in the next video <laughs>